Hi everyone. I won't be facing you today, um, but I just wanted to chime in on that whole brick gate situation. A young lady in Houston declining a man's advances. He asked for her number, I guess. And he cold cocked her against her face with a brick. Now, I don't know this young woman. I guess she's got a TikTok page where she puts down men. She puts down mixed people, stuff like that. Um, I'm not saying that to say that she deserved what she got. That's not what that's about. She did not deserve to be attacked like that. But, um, and I'm still not saying this be, because I'm saying that she deserved to be attacked. That's not what this is about. But I'm not sure what the time frame was, but she said something to some man on the street and she slapped him across his face and she's getting this on camera and everything. But then she ends up being hit in the face with a brick and then going on camera saying that she didn't do anything to deserve this, et cetera, et cetera. Now I have a video that's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks about, uh, well, who protects black women. Now this is a young woman to my knowledge who gets in front of the camera and she talks about how she doesn't need a man. Um, she, um, she made, she laughed about men wanting traditional women. And she said that she ain't trying to be traditional and stuff like that. I find it laughable that so many women want men want to hold men to a certain standard that they themselves don't want to be held to. And Yes, it was bad that men just stood around as this man attacked her. But at the same time, ladies, in a sense, this is what society, this is what you kind of asked of society. You're independent, you're strong, you're equal to men. You don't need a man's pr protection and provision and stuff like that. A lot of you asked for this. You don't think that you did, but you did. And I forgot to mention this real quick. Back when I was younger, you know, in my 20s, it was kind of scary sometimes to reject a man because you didn't know how he was going to react. And I remember, again, back in my 20s, years ago, this man, some random man came up to me on the street and asked me for a kiss. And I politely turned him down and then he cussed me out. Now, clearly he had, you could tell he had psych issues. And I remember even years earlier than that, a friend of mine from high school, and I don't even remember her name anymore, but she and a group of her friends were out just walking down the street. We might've been about 16 or something at the time. Like I said, I wasn't with them when this happened. And these guys came up to them and asked them for their number or can they go out or whatever. They said no. Next thing they know, they're being pummeled with rocks. So this is not necessarily, this is not a new phenomenon. This has been happening for, for decades. Like I said, it happened to me. I mean, I wasn't hit with a brick. I was just cussed out. And then my friends were, you know, had rocks thrown at them. But this is what happens. You know, people think that they're being progressive and stuff when they're asking for certain things in life. Oh, well, I don't need a man. I don't need protection and all of that stuff. But then it comes a time when you do need male protection. And that's when a husband comes into play because this young lady, she looks old enough to have a husband. But she herself shot down the idea of being traditional. And again, I'm going to, you know, repeat what I just said. You can't ask men to be traditional and all of that stuff when you don't want to be traditional. Now, could these men have stepped forward? Perhaps, but they could have stepped forward and, you know, been shot or attacked or anything. Idris Elba, a few weeks ago, he went to try to protect some woman and it almost cost him his life. And I think there is a, a recent story where a man went to go help some woman in distress and he did lose his life. So you have a lot of men not really wanting to take that risk anymore. 
And also, ladies, you have to remember, and this is also a side effect of men being raised in single mother-run homes, you know, because they heard their mother talking about how strong and independent she is and how she don't need a man and how his daddy ain't nothing and all of this stuff. So it, it, it um, breeds a certain type of male, but it also breeds a certain type of female as well. But um, so I just wanted to touch on that real fast since everybody is talking about it. That young lady did not deserve to have a brick thrown against her face. I thought that that was horrific. But at the same time, I hope that this is a, a learning experience for a lot of young women who shoot down the idea of protection from a husband, you know, actually getting married and stuff like that. And you might be like, well, what does this have to do with, with you know, getting married and all of that stuff? Well, my channel is a pro-marriage channel. And you have young ladies out here who want to be in the streets like street walkers. You know, a lot of young ladies today, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, would have been considered the fun time girls. You know, the, the women that men would play with but they wouldn't dare take home to their mother as a, you know, as a potential wife. And I'm not saying that that's what this woman is. Again, um, don't know her. I did watch a couple of, you know, a little bit of footage of her. And, you know, and she is quite, she's a little bit on the masculine side. And then she's asking for protection from men. So I, I think ladies need to really look at what, you really want in life and you know and if you want a husband you want that protection and all of that stuff then you might you have to modify your behavior who you are there are a lot of women they're looking at you know these women online these influencers and content creators making it seem like they're living a life you know when they're living a life that's going away from a traditional um, life later on. But that was my topic for today. If you saw the footage, please tell me what you thought or what you think. And if you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos before you subscribe. And please like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.